Good evening everybody, hope you're staying safe, hope you're looking after yourselves, your family members and your loved ones and I also hope that you're making the best out of the current situation that we together are in and that you see it as a bit of an opportunity. Me personally, I see it as a blessing in disguise, I've had a lot of time on my hands to work on things that I know need improvement but to also concentrate on things that I really enjoy. I'd like to start this off by saying a massive thank you. Thank you for joining me on this journey and thank you for the kind messages that I've received over the last few weeks and months. Secondly, I do apologise about the poor audio quality. I will be investing in a microphone to improve the experience for yourselves. And finally, please do like this video, do subscribe to the YouTube channel and do give me a follow on Twitter. <clears throat> Twitter is actually the only social media platform that I use. I do not have a Facebook, I do not have an Instagram. I've actually never had a Facebook. I did used to have an Instagram, but I deleted it as as I just find it really toxic and really distracting. And I just like to keep things simple, just like my charting and my trading. Starting this video, I will be going through top down analysis. And that's because I want to emphasize the importance of looking at the long term trend are we in a bear market are we in a bull market for me personally i feel that we're in a bear market and we have been in a bear market since december 2017 and unless we break this resistance trend line that started in december 2017 was tested in june 2019 and was tested again this month i cannot see us transitioning into a bull market i know we've hit the four thousand dollar region but that does not change anything, not one single thing. And a lot of people are looking at the last two months and they're seeing a lot of green candles and they think, yep, this is it, we're heading for all time highs. No, I still think there's a little bit of time left, but within the next 12 to 24 months, we will break this resistance trend line and we will possibly create new all time highs. The next thing that I want to emphasize on is your key levels. Your key levels are actually super, super important. And for me personally, there's only two key levels. There's the weekly key level, the monthly weekly ones, and there's the daily key levels. I don't go below that. I don't go below the daily key levels. I do go to the four hour time frame, but I do not check on the four hour key levels. I feel the four hour key levels and the one hour key levels or the half an hour one minute five minute ones they only come into play when you're scalping or day trading and for me scalping is not enough reward for the amount of risk that you take with your capital i prefer swing trading because even though it lasts for a longer period of time and yes you may rack up a little more fees than usual the reward is usually much much higher and you're catching larger trades throughout the process maybe less trades but you're definitely catching a whole load more pips and you're definitely losing out on a whole load more pips as well. So your key levels are really important. And as you can see, if I zoom in here, if I just come out of here, you can see that from a monthly perspective, I've got a key level around the $10,000 region. And for me, this key level here is one of the most important ones because out of the last 30 months, we have closed 23 of those months below the $10,000 region and that tells me a lot about where the banks and the institutions where they want price to be at this current moment in time they don't want it to be above $10,000 the one time that we did go above $10,000 was a was in June and even when we did where do we go we went to another key level that's all that happens around the $14,000 region it's just somewhere that we're not used to visiting so a lot of people wouldn't have seen that but that is a key level and once we pass this $10,000 region and break that resistance trend line that I had drawn earlier you will see the $14,000 region come into play now <clears throat> In between your weekly key levels, you've also got a load of daily key levels. And before I go to the daily time frame, I just want to go to the weekly time frame because I want to show you guys how well my weekly candles respect 
my daily key levels and if your daily key levels are respected by your weekly candles then that will show you how valid they are as you can see that if i go here i've got a weekly candle fluctuating just between the two i've got a weekly candle absolutely dumping from my daily key level i've got a weekly candle going straight up to our daily key level the same here what happens here i've got a weekly candle starting from around our daily key level and absolutely going straight going straight up pumping and you can see this has happened on many many occasions even here what happened we came back down and we closed at our daily key level even here what happens we went down went straight to our daily key level weak fish there and that's why your daily key levels are really important now we, let's go to the daily and you can see exactly you can see exactly how much better it looks you can actually see how we fluctuate in between these floors ceilings or key levels supports and resistances and now how well bitcoin does it and that's all it really does to be honest it just goes from one floor to one ceiling turns that ceiling maybe into a floor or keeps it as a ceiling and goes to the next ceiling or goes to the next floor that's all it really does to be honest and as long as you can understand how it does that and where your liquidity zones are then you you're really starting to get the hang of trading now all my trend lines and all my fibonacci's at least when i'm swing trading i do like to draw them on the four hourly the daily definitely comes into play as well but you know we started off here in the four hourly we drew this one here I was expecting 9,600, which is what was the overall target, because that's where our 78.6 78 was. We actually closed above, but even when we sank, we sank where? To our 61.8. And look, we've held really well here. So you can see that these, that this Fibonacci is still, it's still respecting the two levels. And I do feel that we will go back up to the $9,600 region, probably retest this key level retest this trend line which when we turn it into a counter trend line and then start dumping back down towards our targets of eight thousand seven thousand dollars and that is something that i can see happening um within bitcoin within the next week or so sorry just drinking a bit of water here now fibonacci To me are actually really important and fibonacci's don't only work on the lower time frames fibonacci's also work on the higher time frames as proved earlier and if we go to the weekly i just want to show a few things if we go to the weekly <clears throat> and we start here and i get a bullish fib from the lows to the highs you can see how well we respect this region we actually respected it really really well 78.6 and that's why the candles closed above if you look at it you can see that we came straight down here yeah and that's all that's happened and our trend lines are really important as well because if i get this here and i just pull this all the way over you know i i, I see that it started from marchish that's where the last bull run started from and I draw this and I just get rid of this maybe adjust that a little bit better as well and I go to the daily and you can see that the daily on that trend line around $4,800 region respected it to the T and that's what Bitcoin loves doing it loves respecting our key levels and our trend lines if you know where you are putting them to the T and the more trend lines you draw, the more key levels you draw, the better you're gonna get at drawing them too. <clears throat> now, another thing that I wanna point out is why is how I predicted the $8,000 to the $9,000 region coming through. If we look at this from a weekly perspective anyway, I did draw it on the daily, but if we look at it from the weekly perspective, that would be much better actually, is, <clears throat> we've actually I've, I've drawn one from the highest to the lows and i remember being around the six thousand dollar region and reading a lot and a lot of messages about 
how we're going to go back down to four thousand how we're going to go back down to three thousand dollars i was the one who said we're going to go up to eight thousand dollars and around nine thousand one hundred dollars and the reason i said that was because of this fibonacci in play and i could see our c targets coming through and they have been and the last two weeks we've actually respected our 78.6 we've got one day one hour until we can see if we're still going to respect the 78.6 and i hope we do because that will then push us down to these lows provide us with an opportunity to enter the market again and then from there we can start to look at whether we're going to head into a bull market then or wait a little bit longer until we transition from the current bear market we're in into a bull market so my long-term outlook is definitely is is definitely coming down to the three thousand dollar region but something i've also noticed is as well is if we just knock this off its head and and we get it from the lows to the highs and i just draw that there i do see the five thousand dollar region coming in too and i definitely do see the six thousand dollar region coming in too and at the same time <clears throat> i think that it's a big big possibility this can definitely happen and if we do if we do also look a bit closer if i find my triangles you know we've got triangle here another triangle there and if we draw something like this this is actually a perfect inverse head and shoulders with a perfect tap of our fibonacci c and also if we do draw this if we do remember that resistant trend line it would come around here which would be our seven thousand eight thousand dollar region which bitcoin is really is used to fluctuating around those price regions and it will i feel it would easily break through it will break through that trend line so again that's another confluence why i think we will be going from a bear market to a bull market really really soon so i know in the discord i did say three thousand dollar i do expect us to hit three thousand dollar region but again i just just updating on that and i will update on the discord after this i do expect us to hit the five thousand six thousand dollar region which from here we can then determine whether we're going to hit the three thousands or not which will be around here now <clears throat> Just going in to the four hourly as well. Four hourly is really, really important. And the four hourly I find is really important because you can draw the best trend lines here. You can draw the best, you can, you can refine your daily key levels here and you can just see exactly where they fit and how perfect they can look. So just don't, don't write off the four hourly, make sure that you're using that often but do not use that often to to tell yourself what the long term trend is use the four hourly to catch a little trade you know to catch a swing trade or use a daily to catch a swing trade but don't use the four hourly or the one hourly or, or sorry or the one daily to tell yourself what the long term trend is don't ever do that because that is where you go wrong i don't use the hourly at all the only time i use the hourly is when i'm looking for confirmations or i'm looking for snipe entries the only time i go to the other hourly is if we're up here and i can see that we've now tested it we push back down i may enter there and then we'll go back down but personally from my experience from from trading and charting and i think you you guys are all getting to know what type of trader i am as well on my strategy i like to see candle closures because candle closures to me are confirmations and if there's a confirmation in place then I know that my bias is probably going to come through. And that's something that I'm actually pretty, I'm getting better at doing as time goes by. So yeah, guys, that, that would be, that would be um, the first video I have here. I will go to the XRP chart quickly, just I won't spend too much time on it. The XRP chart, we've definitely been in a bear market for quite a while and that, I think that's pretty obvious to see if i go to the weekly as well the weekly is the same you know this is exactly what the weekly looks like we've been in a bear market for a little while 
I find in the XRP chart that in between the weekly key levels there tends to again be one or two daily key levels so again do have them drawn if you do go onto it like this and you do go to your style or maybe not that and you do go here do lock it I have all mine locked and that really tells me and that helps me not lose my key level so once I've drawn it once it's there forever take note of them as well put them onto your notes you know remind yourself and I tell you why I put them onto my notes because if I go to my Bitcoin chart and I just go here I know exactly where my key level is here and how do I know because it's saved on my notes but to keep my charts clear and concise I remove it so I'm looking at less things so I'm playing with less emotion so I, I'm I'm reading the charts with a clear and concise head and that's really really important now going back over to the XRP if we do just go here um, the daily is what I really like to concentrate on on the XRP uh, of course I like the four hourly too but there's just the, the the movements in are just in such small increments that it can be tough to watch it in the four hourly sometimes so that hence why I prefer to look at it in the daily and um, the daily I just feel also provides us with a lot more data on the XRP chart uh, on any chart to be honest hence why I like to look at the daily more on the XRP chart but as you can see you know we've got a nice little trend line here that's been holding really well hence why we absolutely rocketed came back down here and you know that's why I call the move up I was expecting obviously us to push towards a 22 point five region or 22.3 region if I remember correctly is what I put into the discord but we are now below this weekly key level and therefore I'm not sure if we're going to break above it again if we go towards the Bitcoin chart back here just something I just remembered I missed after looking at the weekly I did mention the possibility of a three pin pattern and if we just zoom in on the weekly this is still a three pin pattern this is still a three pin pattern it's actually such an amazing three pin pattern that we wick fished here and we wick fished here which is below the high of the middle wick fish but the candle body okay is actually directly in line with um, with the wick fishing of two weeks prior okay and when you have three pin patterns that don't look amazing it actually turns out that there are a whole lot load more amazing so they're just things that I look out for as well it's the same here three pin, pa three pin pattern okay that does not align with this okay but look how amazingly that played out okay and if you just go through it you can find it all you can find it all over the place to be honest they exist everywhere on the chart maybe not so much on the weekly but on the four hourly and on the daily you can find so many three pins if you're doing Fibonacci's on the one hourly or you're showing me it, or you're looking at head and shoulders on the one hourly I'd stop doing that I'd concentrate on the four hourly only and that can help you a whole lot more just going back over to the XRP chart just quickly um, I haven't really looked into XRP too much, but from just looking at this quickly, again, you know, go down to the four hourly. And this is why we go to the lower time frame for confirmations, because when we was on the daily, you know, it looked like we'd broken, we'd, we'd, hit, we'd hit that zone there, okay? We'd gone back down, we're retesting the key level. If we don't break above it in 22 minutes, then we're probably most likely going to spend the next few days going back down. So my advice would be close that trade which I think I've already provided that advice in the discord which I'll double check after this recording and update you all if I haven't but if we go to the four hour we can see a whole load more confirmations of how we are rejecting this key level and if we go to the daily as well is there a trend line somewhere around here I don't know is there is there not I don't think so it doesn't look too clear at the moment but maybe if I go like this oh see there is there's one confirmation two confirmations three confirmations boom and I didn't see that I've literally just seen that now so that could provide um, that is another confirmation for why we could be heading back down now if I do go over 
to here and I just catch something like this or that doesn't tend to work out but this definitely does tend to work out and all actually this doing your fib from here rather than doing it from here is actually much better and I'll tell you why doing your fib from here is much better because if this is where most of the shorts were caught from we not most of the shorts were not caught from all the way up here this is just where the bit for next broker went all the way up to but most of the shorts on the grand scale were caught from here and this is what institutional order flow is it's understanding where our zones are and as you can see we've gone if we go from here go back here amazing we've got uh, a C fib we've got a C fib confluence with a trend line retest confluence or weekly key level confluence and where does our D fib align at another key level and if you look at if you look at your Fibonacci to the best way to tell if your Fibonacci's are are valid is to look at your fib C's and to look at your fib D's do they align with key levels do they align with regions that are points of interest and that is actually a really um, a really important thing to look out for I have been recording for 21 minutes this is it for now I hope you guys have enjoyed it and um, I will be providing more videos for you all so again please do like this video do subscribe as well do follow me on Twitter and I hope you all enjoy this and learn a thing or two Take care.